Nation. It's for your success. Dr. Brandon for special hike today on the Nevada Northern Railway System. Welcome to Ely, Nevada, part of the central and the state. This rail line was built in 1906, I believe. They built 130 some miles of track in 100 days because they found what's important in Nevada, silver, copper. So this was used in the early part of the 20th century. It's now a museum. They have amazing artifacts here, stuff I've never seen anywhere else. If you're a train enthusiast, oh my God, this is your place to come. So we're gonna go for an amazing train ride and learn more about the Northern Nevada Railway System. This station in East Ely, it's the third name, it's been named multiple things, now East Ely, built in 1907. The thing about this building behind me is they have original documentation of ledgers, transports, and every passenger that ever took this train, indexed alphabetically. Duck. of cigarettes. my particular favorite. Here lies Chris. Didn't hear the hiss. Too bad the snake didn't miss. 
So that is the Hotel Nevada. Built in 1929, and more importantly, in 1929, that was the tallest building in the entire state. Hi, Dale! We are done with the train ride, and now, for a real special treat, we get to get inside some of the original buildings and amazing artifacts that this place has that no other train depot has in the world. Notice, book agents, insurance agents, peddlers, ticket sellers, solicitors, politicians, positively prohibited from visiting the offices or shops of this company. How many of you want to sign like that? Now this is an active machine shop working on these Baldwin locomotives that are over a hundred years old. Look at this equipment. You look at Ely's logo, you've got not only the depot and a distinctive shape at the top of it, but you've got this engine. The Ramada, the Copper Queen, they have a logo for the Copper Queen. It has this engine and a hover car behind her. This engine means a lot to this community. Because if you would come in from 1910 to July 31st, 1941, you most likely would have come down here behind this locomotive. This is a steam crane built by Industrial Works just outside of Michigan in 1907 and it was built to come to Ely and this crane has been here and operating and still works today since 1907. cannot justify to you the size of this steam crane. Ever seen a snow plow? built in the early part of the 20th century. You have now incredible. This thing is over 15 feet tall. Need an oil can, a gas can. I have no idea what kind of cans carry what. But this place is special. I mean, it still is operational. These guys still use this machinery today. This is like the biggest pressure machine I have ever seen. Built in Chambersburg, Pennsylvania. How did they make that there and get that shipped here? I, I know railroads, of course, but it's just amazing that this thing is still here and still operating.
the Nevada Northern Railway Company. The train ride is amazing, but what is so unique about this place is you can walk around and see these amazing artifacts of trains and history and machinery that doesn't exist anywhere. I haven't seen it anywhere, all piled into one central location. So this is a real special treat. Ely is the most isolated, incorporated city in the continental United States. So when you come here, you're really in for a special, unique visit because this railway depot has things that few places got because of its isolation and finding copper, silver, etc. So you railroad enthusiasts, this is a great place for you. Thanks so much for watching. Take care.